Hi guys, welcome to another quick video here on Cashed Out Cars. In today's video, we're going to be talking about heat soak, specifically intake air temperature sensor heat soak or a manifold air temperature heat soak. Both of these will cause your car to run lean after you start it up after it's ran for a while if it's sat hot. And also, if you're idling for a while with poor airflow through your engine, it might make your car start to run lean. So, if you're having problems with your car leaning out at idle or under slow driving conditions or after you restart it after it's hot, this might be your problem. So, let's get into why this happens and how you could fix it. First, you need to understand what an intake air temperature sensor does. Now, the purpose of that sensor is to tell your ECU the temperature of the air going into your engine. Hotter air has less oxygen per volume and colder air has more oxygen per volume. This sensor allows the ECU to scale how much fuel the engine gets depending on temperature to make sure that it's running at the proper air fuel ratio that you're trying to keep it at. Now, heat soak happens when the sensor itself gets significantly significantly hotter than the air going into the engine and it doesn't read properly. This happens commonly after the engine is hot and it sat for a while or if you're running at really low engine loads and there's not a lot of airflow going through your engine bay thus there's hot temperatures under there. This happens because the sensor is hot and it thinks the air going into the engine is hotter than it actually is so it overcorrects and pulls fuel. On my car I put my intake air temperature sensor in a less than ideal spot here. It's right over this coolant hose that gets very hot, obviously. So that sensor tends to heat up, especially when parked or at idle and low engine loads. Ideally, I probably should have put this thing on the other side here, away from that hose. But either way, we're going to try to combat that today, which I'll show you how in a second. Once again, the same thing could happen for intake air temperature sensors or manifold air temperature sensors. The sensors really do the same job. It just depends on where they are. But anyway, to sort of fix this problem, we need to heat wrap this sensor so it doesn't absorb so much heat off of the coolant hoses here, off of the radiator, and just help keep it cool. Now, to do that, I have this design engineering heat sheath here. We're going to wrap the sensor in this, and it's not absolutely going to fix the problem, but it is going to make it a little bit better to keep heat off of that hose and off of the radiator from soaking into the sensor too much while there's not a lot of airflow through this engine bed. Here we go. I'm just going to cut this piece of sheathing a little bit longer than how big the sensor itself is. And now we could go ahead and get it over the sensor and the connector. And now we'll just need to zip tie this thing in place. Now, note that this sheathing is a little bit big for the sensor. There's a little bit of extra room in there, but that's okay. I'm just going to sort of zip tie it, try to make it neat, and try to fix the problem like this. Note that the best way to do it is start out by putting your sensor in a good location that won't heat soak, and then try to wrap it and keep it as cool as possible. All right, so now I've got the sensor all wrapped there in the heat shield, and it actually wrapped pretty nicely. Note that ideally, I would try to wrap all this intercooler piping and everything in the area to try to prevent even the piping getting hot and heating up the sensor. So this is not a perfect solution, but it should be better than it was. Once again, you should try to plan out a place for the sensor where it's not gonna heat soak, and then you still wanna wrap it to try to prevent it from getting heat soaked. And so guys, that is going to wrap up this video. Keep in mind that just because you're running lean at idle or under normal driving conditions does not necessarily mean that your IAT sensor is heat soaking, but it could. If your tune is pretty much dialed in after the first start and while you drive it around and it's good, and then all of the sudden you stop at a stoplight and then your idle starts to go really lean or you park it for a while and then you start to go lean, that's when you should start considering that heat soak might be be an issue. Also note that if you are heat soaking, the best option is to solve the heat soaking issue rather than playing with your tune or your IAT or MAT, depending on what ECU you're using, corrections, because that way you're actually getting good values to the ECU and running good rather than correcting for a problem that is already there. With all that said, that is going to wrap up this video. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. Comment any questions or comments that you have down below and subscribe for more videos like this and for more on my Turbo Miata project. I hope you stick around for the next one.